Hi, it's this epic disaster. I almost said it wrong. Hi, it's this epic. I said epoch. It sounded it's like ep elpic. This epoch disaster. Elpic. Even the uh, introduction is a disaster. <clears throat> totally. Hi, everybody. How are you? Um, we're here on another Monday. Just hanging out. Saying hi. Doing a show and saying hi. Yeah, that's okay. what we do. So, um... This week, we have some fun for you. Yeah, this is a special show. How special is it? Well, it's a, it's a theme show. We don't often do theme shows, but this one actually is a theme show. Unfortunately, my jokes aren't part of the theme, but you will hear them throughout the show. So uh, today, please. Today's show is Florida Man. Florida Man. We, uh, we wanted to do a show strictly dedicated to Florida Man. There's also Florida Woman, <clears throat> though. Yeah, I feel like man, as in humanity, it's kind of I incorporates see. I every. See. You know, sometimes okay. people will use like all men are created equal. It just <clears throat> it's kind That's of that's because they didn't believe women were. It's kind of a, a mass coverage. Yeah. Um, but we should say like a Florida person. It's a Florida person. Mm -hmm. But it's more fun being Florida man. Actually, more. Uh, I think more men uh, are kind of screwing up than the women. I would hope so. But it does happen all the way around. Speaking of which. There's even Florida kids. <laughs> Florida kid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking <laughs> of which, we have a beer to go along with our theme. That's right. Today's beer is. Florida Man. Florida Man Double India um, Pale Ale from. Cigar City Brewing. Now, we've had Cigar City Brewing. I can't remember where they're from. They're, I can't remember what Cigar City is. Is it a South Carolina beer? Hold on. I, I, can't, I can't see remember even what with Cigar my glasses City on is. anymore. Uh, uh, Tampa, me. Florida. Tampa. No wonder. Cigars. Duh. Tampa, yeah. yeah. I'm a I used to smoke Tampas all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're good. So, uh, this is, like I said, a double IPA, or like Rick said, it's a double IPA. Very gold. Very it yellow. It is a uh, Florida <clears throat> man. says, welcome to Florida, the sunshine state. It also says, unpredictable varieties of hops used in nearly criminal volumes. Uh -oh. oh, dear. Combined to create a bold, citrusy, double IPA. Brewed to pay tribute to the world's worst superhero. Yeah. I've already smelled it. I have a feeling this beer is going to make me want to hit my sister. So tell me, <clears> does like it Florida smell Man. like grapefruit? Yes, it smells like uh, oh, okay. a whole IPA would smell. And I'm um, not a big fan of that smell. But anyway, whatever. It's the way it is. Florida Man. Look how much head you have. Boom. Through that Florida Man. Sometimes I just like to do it i like the way it looks sometimes like big, you like a lot of head just a big old giant thing of foam honestly who, who doesn't like a lot of head it's just a big fun thing right yes all right so we're gonna try it you sip it first no you can't no you i gotta wait I gotta, I gotta wait for the foam to settle just a bit ipa double ipa isn't it yeah yes it is kind of makes you want to go hit somebody makes me want to <laughs> punch babies with uh, on meth yeah. Not the you, the babies on the that. The babies on mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yes. Because they're mummies. Mm -hmm. Florida mummies. And I, I I hate to say this. Yeah, very bitter. I'm being very I like when I just said that it made me feel bad because I felt very like I'm all Florida mummies are bad. Yeah. And I know that's not true. Totally not true. So please don't uh, write so, letters. Uh, a little disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, we, we have friends from Florida. I have family who uh, was in Florida. I used to spend... You spent your summers in yeah, Florida. Yeah, my grandmother lived in Florida. And uh, and I have friends from Florida. So we know. It's I've been, fun. I've been to Florida twice. And yeah. they were both really good experiences. Uh, totally. I um, uh, And I said this to you uh, a few minutes ago. It's kind of like... The whole thing about Karen. And I know people named Karen probably get so sick of oh, that. Oh, I bet. Uh, oh, my gosh. And I feel gosh. bad yeah. for them. And yeah. yeah, it still happens. Yep. Um, and, you know, I, at some point, there's going to be some stupid thing that's connected with your name. It's and somebody's going to be like a, the Rick. Yeah. And then eventually and then it'll be like, like, oh, no. Rick. No. Oh, it's yeah. Rick. And, and, yeah. And then your name is forever. And every time anybody says anymore. your name, they're going to roll their eyes yeah. and be like, oh, it's Rick. Yeah. And it's like, I have nothing to do with it. I, uh, I went to high school with a kid named Ronald Reagan. And I thought, how does this guy order a pizza? 
Oh. Can you imagine? He just goes and he's ordering a pizza and they're like, all right, what's your name? And they go, Ronald Reagan. And they're like, bullshit. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. He's like, oh, no. So I used to work at a company where we had uh, clients. Um, I'm not going to go into any more than that because it's HIPAA. But there was one guy and his name was William Shrank. Okay. And he went by Willie. Yeah. Willie Shrank. Mm-hmm. There was also a gentleman, and I'm not kidding. His name was Richard Head. Yeah. And I'm not joking. No. And I'm like, your parents hated you. Yeah. They had to have, because he wasn't much older than me. Well, it's like the race car driver, Dick Trickle. Yeah. I mean, that's something you go to the doctor for. I, but you can't yeah. help it. And that's just the way, you just learn to live with it. You know, I guess. And if you're in Florida and you're a man, <laughs> you, you you get so you learn to fight sick about it. Your, yeah. You know, everybody you meet, you're like, oh, so you're a Florida man, and they think they're the only ones who ever say it. And you're like, yeah, uh, I've heard it a million times. Not that funny. I have a friend whose last name is Man. Mm-hmm. I hope and pray that if they ever have a boy, they mm-hmm. name him Florida. Yeah, I got a lot of friends last name Man. All right, so um, anyway, this is gonna, show is going to be Florida Man. Uh, we're going to be talking that we're going to be actually talking about some things Florida man has done and 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 will do. Yeah. So uh we're going to do that first. We're going to play a little game of would you rather. Oh, let's do would that first. Would you rather yeah. play a game? I would, rather, would rather play a game. Throw a stone. Me? Draw a okay. Color. Where's the where are they? I don't know. What do They're you do? right here. Toss them. Toss They're, one. Oops. Toss toss it. Like a salad. No. Don't toss it like a salad. What color? I have no idea. You hadn't dropped it. All right, red. It's red. Here we go. Red is pain, fear, discomfort. We haven't had a red one in a while. That's true. That's Would true. you rather have your family live in a high crime neighborhood with people? This is almost racist. With people of your own ethnicity. Oh, why are we? Re- Let's read another one. I don't want to do this one. A low crime neighborhood where your ethnicity experiences discrimination. I don't totally understand that question. Now, let's let's get move one. on. That's a I, weird question. Yeah, let's move on. I'm not even going to. That kind of starts getting into a little racial thing that I don't even want to get into. I'm not I, we've never comfortable had a with that. Racial Zabmondo question. It's weird. All right, Red, this one's a little more simple. Would you rather have to skate on a pond of thin ice mm. or run through a burning house? Run through a burning house. You'd rather do that? Yep. Really? Why? Yep. Because you don't want to fall through the ice. Either. I have a fear uh, of ass ice. <laughs> not ass. I don't have a fear of ass. You don't have a fear I, of fire. I have a fear of ice, and 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 my fear like comes from vanilla ice or just ice in general. Ice, ice, baby. Ice tea. Ice I cube. have a fear of like getting falling through the ice. Mm-hmm. I've seen getting so stuck. many videos and things and then plus i lived in alaska and i lived in minnesota and Mm. it's just it's scary that's how how, houdini died it's yeah it's scary i would much rather i don't care i would much rather in the stomach run that's what i heard through fire Uh uh-huh because you see people who walk on embers Mm -hmm. and if they're in the right mindset yeah they don't get burned that's that's fake okay i think it's fake all right all right uh, I'm going to throw one now. I'm going to say chocolate. All right, here we go. Chocolate. Oh, it's green. It's green. Wow, this is the third week in a row I've thrown green. Three weeks I've thrown green. I didn't I think know. that's a record. I didn't know you could count that high. Okay, so green is... Get this light over here. I can't see nothing. Hold on. I couldn't see either. Uh, would you rather, in a messy divorce... You've had a couple of those. A few of those, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in a messy divorce, love your... S- no. In a messy divorce... Would you rather, in a messy divorce, have your spouse take your Porsche? Okay. If you've ever had a Porsche. Or the family dog, who mm. is your only friend. Uh, if I have a family dog... Well, that, okay, so it's it's that's hard to say. So, like, the dog... That I used to have uh-huh. when I got a divorce, I I I would have easily have given up my Porsche for the dog. Easy, yeah. yeah. But if it, it, I don't know if it's a if if my spouse had a dog when we got married and it belonged to her, 
Uh, I would. Uh, she can keep it. That's a tough one. <laughs> Give me the damn Porsche. You know, <laughs> I'll sell it. I don't want your dog. <laughs> Yeah, I I get you because it's like what you come into the relationship with. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it's sentimental and it matters, uh-huh. you should be able to take it with you. Yeah, one of my relationships, I won't say I'm not going to go into detail, but I um, we adopted three cats during the time of that relationship, and then when we split, um, I just let because I knew she was a good cat mom. And so I just let her have the cats. And if I wanted to visit, I could visit. And you didn't want to separate the cats. No. And, and two, I just felt like where I was kind of going, I was going to be a little more unstable and that wouldn't be fair for the cats. And she was a good mommy. Yeah. And I I did get to see them a little bit, not as much. Um, but that's the way it goes. So, and they lived for a long, long time. Yeah, they did. Most of them did. One of them did, for sure. Mm-hmm. A couple of them died a little early. But yeah, that's, I mean, you know, nothing uh, about divorce is great. I mean, it's not, it depends it's not, on the divorce. But, you know, sometimes yeah. it's a relief and it should happen. But the experience is just crappy most I of the time. I would think that most times. Yeah. A divorce is a relief and it should happen. Yeah. And I'm, and I say that because... If one of you wants to be divorced, mm-hmm. why would you stay married? Yeah, it's time to get out of it. Yeah. I mean, there are times when you can go to counseling for whatever reason. But once maybe, it's over. Maybe there's something that's, a, you know, blocking mentally and you can get that solved and then sure. everything is fine. But if you just want out. So I, no. Yeah. You just, there's no reason to keep it going exactly all right exactly um all right so let's uh let's get into show how's how's your week what's going on anything week anything is cool? going okay i had to go into the office yesterday uh i had to go into the office on thursday as yeah. well uh this past thursday and uh thursday was oh man traffic on the way home i was doing 60 yeah i can remember when uh, the first time covid happened and driving down in Atlanta, and I was just like, wow, this yeah. is awesome. There's yeah. like no traffic at all. Nope. That's gone. Those days are gone. It, they they basically are, but for some reason, Thursday, driving home, I was like, I'm doing 60. This is crazy. What's yeah. happening? Yeah. Because, I no, that's crazy. Although yesterday was a little, little worse. Yeah. But it was fine. Okay. I got home. Uh, other than that, it's just work and house and cats and mm-hmm. dog and all that. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm preparing to do a job in uh, Florida, which is appropriate Florida, since we're doing. Man. Yeah, since we're doing that. What and, part of Florida? Uh, up in North Florida, and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it, even though it's gonna, probably going to be really, really hot. Yes. Um. Well, I know it's going to be really hot. Yes. Uh, but still, uh, the part. Of Florida that I'm going to be is kind of a nice place, and so sort of looking forward to it. Are you getting a hotel or an Airbnb? I'm not sure yet. Okay. We'll see. But um, I, yeah. Are you going to be on your own, or are you going to no, have? I have. Uh, we'll have work people. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, but you know I'm not a huge Florida fan. I think we've talked about that. Um, you like the beach in Destin, though. I mean that that part <laughs> is okay. I, I'm not. I don't know. I don't like really. Lo- I don't enjoy any place southern from where we are. And too hot. Yeah. I'd rather go up much farther up. But you know, it's hot up there too. So we'll get a job in Maine. Yeah, which could. That would be great. All right. So um Florida Man, let's do uh so if you don't know, everybody knows Florida Man sort of a what do you call it? Is it sort of a meme? A trope? I, it's it's kind of a trope. It's a joke. I, I wouldn't call it a meme. So uh a lot of things happen with Florida Man and uh we you know, you probably read them online. So we want to talk about, we want to actually talk about some actual Florida man stuff. We know if you live in Florida, you're not the man. You're not the one who's done it. You, If you're you listening know to us, people. you couldn't possibly be the person. So uh, I uh, I will just say one of my favorite podcasts, I listen to them all the time, Fun Employment Radio. I've mentioned that on our podcast before. And they talk a lot about uh, they'll read stories that happen in Florida. and They're not in Florida, though, are they? No, they're in Portland. But oh, okay. they talk about, uh, they started mentioning Port St. Lucie, mm-hmm. Florida. And most, oh, so many of their stories came from there. Mm-hmm. And then a couple years ago, two or three years ago, I had to do a 
a job in Florida and it just so happened to be in Port St. Lucie. So I was just like, oh man, this is going to be so weird. And I went down there and I swear it's probably one of the most beautiful places in Florida I have ever been in my life. Where I was in Port St. Lucie, I, I honestly, I, uh, it almost made me a Florida fan. <laughs> wow. That's saying a lot. But, um, so you can't always predict. You and know. you can't judge. No, you can't. But for the sake of the show, it's kind of fun and we're going to do it. We're going to, it's, it's a joke. It's all fun and fun. If you're Florida, we know you could talk about, you know, I'm from Tennessee. We're from Georgia. You could talk about, you know, rednecks and no teeth and you all that. You talk if you about want to. California or Alaska yeah. if you're talking about me. Yeah, I mean, why not? you never know. Today it's Florida, man. I will tell you, though, <laughs> that uh, I do this thing online where I go to Zillow uh -huh. and I look up just, you know, houses in areas where I'm like, oh, I might want to live there. Uh -huh. And I just look up kind of what's happening. And St. Augustine yeah. in Florida. Mm -hmm. mm, oh, I would like love it? to live there. I remember being there. I was a kid. I was young and having the, um, uh, the Fountain of Youth went to the Fountain of Youth. Oh, and yeah. ironically... Uh, did you did you get younger? No. Oh. Ironically, I live today right off Ponce de Leon. Below. Yes, you do. And do you know what Ponce de Leon means? He discovered the Fountain of Youth. Okay, but what yeah. do, what is the translation? Oh, well, it's this dude's name. But there's a translation to it. It means um, Peter on my leg. That's what it means. Ponce de Leon. <laughs> Um, no, that's Spanish. That's what's happening in your pants. Oh, right now. sorry. Uh, it's something the lion. It's uh, the the Pedro the lion, prince of the lion. I don't know. Ponce. I don't know. Ponce, um, I don't know. De Leon. You asked me like if I know, and I thought you knew. It's just like if you don't know, don't bring it up. Well, then why not? You should tell us. If I'm asking, that means I want to learn. All right, I have. I'm going to read some Florida men stories. Is that all right? Do you are, are you okay with that? Fine. All right. Uh, Florida man manages to spell. No, this is not fair. Manages to misspell school on on a uh, school warning twice. And <laughs> here on this on the street, they have spelled it S C O H O L. Uh huh. Show hall, and they did it twice. That happens. I've seen it's that. It's not just Florida. I've seen video. <laughs> yes, I've seen it happen. All right. Uh, Florida man stabs tourist uh, despite having no arms. So this guy. How did? stab somebody with no arms i'm not sure i want to know i'm gonna i'm guessing maybe in his teeth i don't know or his or his toes could you know be. people play piano with their toes yeah could be I don't know. uh florida man arrested for driving stolen vehicle while a monkey clings to his chest that's um, fine I, I i can see that it could happening. have been like ross geller i mean it could yeah with Who, um who's ross geller? um uh, uh marcel Oh, oh yeah! It could be my references. They're could contemporary. Have been, you're you're old. They're today's you're today's old. references. Old. Um. All right, Florida man. Um. A Florida man ripped urinal from a restaurant bathroom wall and then ran away naked into the woods. Why? I don't know. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? I have to think like bath salts or some kind of like weird drugs were involved if you took a urinal mm -hmm. off of a bathroom wall yeah and ran into the woods yeah it's like you can just pee in the woods that was the first uh, you don't need a urinal that was the first florida man story i can recall remember that dude uh he got a high he on ate bath salt. that guy's face he ate the dude's face and i just thought that what's bridge? that guy gonna do he has no face anymore and there were there were cops all around it's, that was and uh, they didn't kill him that just disturbed me i, I today I found, mm -hmm. he'd be dead in about a minute yeah all right uh florida man pauses police chase to rehydrate with stolen capri sun Capri Sun um, says that smoking crack makes him thirsty. You know what though? Capri Sun has so much sugar in it; it's mm -hmm. just going to dehydrate. You. I bet it's worse than uh, White Claw. Okay, stop. All right, Florida man gives police exonerating dash cam video following a traffic accident. Accidentally includes video of him robbing a beauty store. Of course it does. Sorry, Florida man. He kind of looks like a normal dude too. Do some editing first. Florida man admits killing a goat and drinking its blood for pagan, pagan sacrifice. What? Would still like to be a senator. <laughs> was it? Was I it feel like, like he's on the road. Was I mean, it? Was nowadays. it part of the the what is the um the 
religion that that does that the uh, santa maria santeria. santa maria no that's it's santeria a santa sorry yeah. you know jennifer lopez <laughs> santa is maria is downstairs <laughs> that's totally wrong i was i was joking she's oh, really not okay she's not no it was a joke jennifer i know you listen to the podcast taco, taco, burrito, burrito. not really no uh florida man arrested for eating pancakes in the middle of a crosswalk i would so do that and look he's actually like at a table eating pancakes would you sit down totally in and the middle pancakes? of a crosswalk why not i love pancakes I because pa- people could hit you with their car i will eat pancakes up a dead guy's butt i love that's nasty i love pancakes i hate pancakes i would eat them i don't like pancakes uh, florida man disguises himself in a bull costumes bulls on parade <laughs> Oh, wow. Sorry. Wow. I just watched that. Bulls on parade. I, I, I told you this. You didn't even know it. I love Rage Against the Machine. And I it's was one of my shocked. favorite bands. Shocked. I know. I don't know how you didn't know. My wife didn't know. I don't talk about them a lot, but I love. That's one of my favorite bands. So, and so what is your again. favorite song? Bulls when on you're, parade. Is it? It's whenever I hear it, I just I want to go out and start punching people. I want to start beating them up. I love it. I love that band too, and they sound. What? They started touring again. They just went on the road, and they sound just like they did then, if not better. They're they're. It's one of the few bands that, as they got older, they man, they have not stepped backward. They are good. Some of my songs that that fit in that same category are mm. "Click Click Boom." What is that? Click Click Boom. I don't know. It's saliva. Okay. And then another song is. Um, down with the sickness by um i, can't I don't remember. recognize that man <laughs> down with the sickness mm-hmm. <laughs> you know the song the i'm song? talking no. about yes you do no. come on i do not disturbed is the name of the band i couldn't tell you one single song that they've got i don't know anything about them are you kidding me no that's one of your generations not mine i'm old you're we don't have that you're not much older than me i i'm kind of lucky that i like rage against the machine they're actually kind of your generation but i i like them all right all right uh again florida man disguises himself in a bull costume as he tries to burn down farmer lover's house with pasta sauce how do you burn down house with pasta sauce maybe he thought it burned his ass so much that it might be extra spicy fire i don't know uh florida man steals a bmw after he is told uh, he can't buy it with food stamps. I would do that. <laughs> Who's trying to buy a BMW with food stamps? Uh, me. I would do that. I, that. I never thought about it, but I'll bet people try to buy some weird stuff with food stamps. Yeah. It's yeah. government assistance. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, Florida man arrested. I read this somewhere else. Florida man arrested in local park for practicing karate on the swans. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. That's not nice. Kicking at him. He just looks like one of the Cobra Kai's. Oh. I mean, really. No. All right. Uh, 18-year-old Florida man arrested for posing as a doctor, uh, opening a fake doctor's office. 18? Do you do that? Yeah, and he looks like, looks like a little baby. He looks like um, one of the Hustable kids, really. He just looks like a little kid. Honestly, if you just get a storefront and you open it and you put doctor's office on the front of it, yeah. you can do it. Well. Not legally. Obviously. I might want to do that just for exams. I think I could do that. <laughs> you want to be a gynecologist. Uh, something like that. Yeah. I mean, really, when you think about it, no. Mm-hmm. But uh, I just want to give people like general checkups, you know, just kind of do a little feeling. Turn around. your head and cough. Yeah. Kind of just like drop your pants. Okay. That's good. Pull them back up. I'm done. Uh, let me see what's under here. That's good. Oh, that's done. No. That's all I want to do. I don't want to touch the Fumunda cheese. I don't want to touch things. I just want to look. <laughs> Just flash me. I'll oh, give dear. You, I'll give you beads. Oh, dear. All right. Florida man says he danced on a patrol car in order to escape vampires. You know that works. Do you know what? That yes. actually happened on my wedding night. Really? Yeah. My no first... vampires. That's how you got... That... Did you see any vampire on your wedding night? No. No. No wonder. My first wedding night, my best man got um, arrested for peeing on a cop car. Ooh. In the nude. Uh, Florida man kicked out of Trump rally for wearing a penis on his head. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, it, he was just trying to emulate. I guess. I don't know. I think it was, <laughs> he was probably, you know, it was probably somebody just trying to cause some trouble. Yeah. I don't think he really was like <laughs> meant to be there, you know. A uh, Florida man asked the trooper if he can leave the scene of a crash to get more meth. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, I love those guys. I'd be like. 
like, sure, bring me. These are guys that don't know what they did is wrong. They have no concept what they did was wrong. <laughs> or like, they're uh, so out of their mind I, that like, it, it, it doesn't register. I've read about the people who call 911 to report that someone stole their drugs. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, a Florida man pulls out a plastic bag, a plastic badge, I'm sorry, and tells a speeding motorcyclist, I, the police. I. <laughs> I, I, the, the police. police. Magnum P, I, the police. <laughs> um, a plastic badge. You can get one of those at like, uh, what's it, Richard's? What? Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stop or I'll melt. I don't know. <laughs> how, how, how do you have a plastic bag, badge in Florida? A uh, Florida man can't produce driver's license for the police. Shows them mixtape instead. I made this for my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, maybe this will work. Don't you love me? Got some Savage Garden on it. Oh, I love Savage Garden. Yeah. I would. I have oh. Embarrassing experience with that. Shut up. Florida man wearing mop on his head terrifies neighbors with demand for eggs. Give me your eggs or I'll mop your floor. He's wearing a mop on his head. What the, what did the, see, all right, yeah, that's Why weird. Do, he demands <laughs> eggs. I don't know. Why do you need the mop? Why, I mean, just go get your eggs. What, Leave just the go alone. get some eggs. I guess. Oh my God. Uh, Florida man drives date to sports bar on stolen Walmart mobility scooter. There's a date right oh, there. Oh, you can't do that anymore because they have this thing that if you're far enough away from the store. The tires lock up. Yeah. Yeah, mm. but back then, boy, you uh, could go. You could go for days. A uh, Florida man calls 911 to report himself for drunk driving. Well, I mean, that's good. I've seen that I mean, on you, the Florida ID man. channel. Somebody called and they were like, there's a drunk driver on such and such a highway. Hmm. And they were like, okay, and what is the car they're in? And they're like, well... I'm in it. It's a like a red, you know, probe or whatever. Yeah. What's the license plate? Oh well, I don't know. I'll have to get out and look. You know, it, yeah. it's like, well, thank you for alerting us. Yeah. Jesus. A uh, Florida man burns himself dancing naked around the fire for solstice ritual. Uh, now you would probably imagine what this guy looks like, and I'm just going to tell you, he looks like the lead singer of the Spin Doctors. Just what back back in the '90s. Lead singer of the Spin Doctors. He looks like and, anybody from Burning Man. Yeah, and he burned himself naked. And you can imagine. I mean, but, I mean, what's burning? <laughs> Smells like Florida Man. Smells right. like dick. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Florida Man gives police fake name to try and avoid arrest. Uh, and the fake name has a DUI. <laughs> I was going to say the fake name uh, has like five my name warrants is, uh, out. Uh, yeah. uh, ben Dover. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. My name oh, is. Oh, really? Ben Dover's got some DUI here. My name is Rick Baldwin. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Um, a Florida man asked public for help looking for his 18 foot banana. 18 foot <laughs> banana? I, I lost my 18 foot banana. Can, can, can we get the public to maybe see if they can find it? Yeah, it's a big banana. Thank That's you. not real. That can't be real. A uh, Florida man arrested for attempting to steal a power pole. By strapping it to the top of his SUV. And he did. That thing is huge. So apparently, I guess, I'm just guessing, it was laying on the side of the road. I was going to say, how did he get it out of the road? Picked it up. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm assuming they're kind of light. They're made of aluminum or something. And it's on top of his car. Because I know how I got a light pole out of the road. Yeah. I ruined your first car. Yeah, my uh, Subaru Forester. Yeah. A uh, Florida man tries to leave a strip club. Well, that's good. Uh, crashes into a house. Oh, no. No. Uh, runs himself over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know how that good happened. Good for him. Yeah. I, don't know. I hope he didn't hurt anybody else. Um, you know, we there's a strip club down the street from us. and um, Where? Right. I'm not going to say which one, but it's down the street. Every Sunday afternoon, just like church, that parking lot is overflowing. No. Totally. Really? Lots. Yes. Wow. It does business. That's crazy. Um, Florida man in a tutu breaks into the farmer's market to consume fruit and soda. In a tutu. I don't know why he needed a tutu. He was feeling fairy-like. I guess. I mean, you know, he's kind of sweet. He's happy. Right. Uh, Florida man arrested for illegal ride on a manatee. Uh, what is illegal? Don't legal? touch a manatee. What's a legal ride on a manatee? Is there one? There is no legal. Then just say a ride on a manatee. 
Don't touch manatees. They're dying out. Especially they if you're Florida our, man. They need our protection. All right, this guy looks like a grandfather. Let's see what's going on. Florida man calls 911 to report lack of vodka. <laughs> I would do that. You probably would. would. <laughs> uh, grandpa here looks like, he, he looks like a sweet old man. We're out of vodka. Hello. No, nobody's bought. Nobody's bringing me vodka. They're like nine one one. What's your emergency? You know, and I mentioned this before, but I see it all the time. Um, whenever someone's been like brutally murdered on mm-hmm. the ID channel, just mm-hmm. like really bad crime oh, scene, just terrible. Yeah. yeah. Um, they will always when they call nine one one. They will always wait for the 911 person to give the introduction before they report. Hello, 911. And What's they'll wait emergency? to respond. Yeah. And they stand and there. And they'll wait for a few minutes and then they're like, ah, everybody's been murdered. It's yeah. terrible. It's horrible. Yeah. There's blood everywhere. They'll wait for the whole thing. It's just like, you would think 911, they would pick it up immediately and go, hello. And the person would go, ah, it's terrible. There's blood everywhere. Right. No, they wait for the, per- for the 911 operator to say their introduction before And more they start. often than not, that's when they're guilty. <laughs> no, everybody does it. Because I've they listened. go, thank you for calling, emergency, 911. The only time they emergency? don't do it is like somebody's chasing them and they just push 911 and you can hear them in the background screaming and running or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. The, that that person, it, like as soon as they pick it up, you can hear it. Mm-hmm. But I always, there's like this, even in an emergency, even in like a tragic emergency, there's that certain level of politeness There's that you wait weirdness. for the other person like, to do a little greeting the before you. The person says, 911 emergency, yeah. how can I help you? Or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And then they're like, my wife is bleeding yeah. on the floor. But you could have reported it five to eight seconds earlier right. if you hadn't waited. Right. Maybe that's the difference, too. I guess. Uh, Florida man filmed stealing dozens of pigeons while wearing trash bag and bucket on his head. I'm wondering if it's Buckethead that did it. You know Buckethead, the guitar player? No, but yeah. I know Canoehead. Uh, Buckethead might have done it. Hmm. Uh, Florida man steals bees because he thought they were abandoned. He thought the bees were abandoned? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I mean, I mean maybe because, you know, And this guy just looks like, he looks like a high school principal. He looks look fine. Okay, but sometimes totally like beekeepers uh-huh. keep their, their bee houses, you know, the little boxes or whatever. Yeah out away from because mm-hmm. it's quieter yeah. and it's peaceful mm-hmm. so maybe he came across one thought they're abandoned and thought they yeah. were abandoned oh uh, this guy scares me uh florida <laughs> man wanders naked through the neighborhood oh i see his butt uh holding cooking oil erection it says that says he's aroused by rain <laughs> and i don't think it's rain wilson he this guy is scary that's my ex-husband. Rain Wilson? No. Oh. This guy. Erection? Uh, Flor- he wandered through the neighborhood holding cooking oil and an erection. Was he holding the erection? He was holding his erection and cooking oil. Uh-huh. And he was walking down the street. I mean, so far I'm with him. I have done that. <laughs> um, he's aroused by rain? No. <laughs> I guess it depends it, on how well, hard it falls. Well, it's gentle, and Maybe. it's like you know the soothing sound. Rain Wilson, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Right. Caught trying to smuggle dead alligator in a car. Mm-mm. Well, Mm-mm. I mean, what are you going to make some shoes? Or I mean, a I purse? guess I, I don't know. I can understand if you're like driving down the road, you see an alligator that's been hit. It could be like roadkill, and you're like, oh, it's a shame for it to that. go to ra- waste. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to eat Or I'm taking it to a taxidermist yeah, sure. and make a little stuffed thing or whatever. Good. That's not Lots so bad. Lots of people eat gator. Unable to wait until 4th of July, Florida man blows off fingers with fireworks a day early. <laughs> oh, God. That's terrible. I think that's happened in my neighborhood at laughed. least every 4th of July. I'm not sure why I laughed at that. All right. I'm uh, sorry. When you have two houses on one lot and they're backed up, back, back, back like that in mm-hmm. my neighborhood, mm-hmm. you shouldn't be allowed to put off fireworks. No, fireworks are... Yeah, I, I wish fireworks are outlaw, outlawed, but that's just me. Some people really like them, so I shouldn't take away their fun. All right. Underwear-clad Florida man spends four hours yelling at people from the roof of Wendy's. How did he get up there? Uh, I don't know, but he's there and he's in his underwear. Oh, and I bet there's a bunch of, like, nasty grease and stuff up there. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Ew. Uh, all right. Um, Florida man with handlebar mustache... Assaults women on plane. Assaults woman on plane. I'm sorry. Starts a fight with several passengers. Yells at police to tase him. 
and you'll see what happens. Then he gets tased 10 times. That's what happens. 10 times? And he's got his little handlebar mustache. That's 50 volts. He looks like a college student. He looks like a kid. Per drunk. tase. Probably thought he was the Monopoly guy. He was probably on drugs. I'm because sure. Because you, you cannot handle yeah. 10 tasers at once. Ugh, I don't want to try uh, police find nearly a dozen stolen zoo animals in Florida man's <gasps> apartment. Leave him alone. Did he work for the zoo? What were they? I don't know. What animals? I mean, you can't have a rhino in your apartment. Probably not. No. You have one in your pants. Sometimes you have an <laughs> uh, elephant in the room, but oh, it's a little bit boy. different. Florida man tries to walk out of a Walmart with $172 worth of steak and lobster stuffed down his pants. Speaking of in your pants. Why would you stick a lobster in your pants? Uh, was it a live lobster? I, I bought a car from that guy. I, I swear. <laughs> he looks exactly like the guy I bought my car. I mean, if it was live from like the, the tank or mm. if it was just like already I dead. This guy, he, his name is Mark. I bet you a million dollars his name is Mark. Oh, I know him. Anyway. I know him. Uh, Florida man arrested for be- beating a drag queen with a tiki torch while dressed as a member of the KKK. He's, Fuck him. He's now running for mayor. What? I'll bet you he wins, too. <gasps> In Florida? He's like, what's your platform? These shoes. Uh, Florida <laughs> man bursts into ex's delivery room. Oh, God. Fights her new boyfriend as she's giving birth. <laughs> I've heard this. Troy, get out! <laughs> I've heard this. Oh, man. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. I can't. I can't imagine. Could you imagine being no. in a hospital room with your wife, how who's giving birth, and have some random no. stranger come in and start beating Do you? Do they not have security in Florida? There What's has going to be. On? There has to be some. Florida man proudly claims he's the first man ever to vape. <laughs> I don't. I don't even want to read this. Read it. Read it. Read it. I don't want to read. Do this. it. Do it. Do I it. I resist. I'll walk around the desk and I will read it for you. Go it. Do it. Do it. Come on. Come on. Florida man proudly claims he's the first man ever to vape semen. That's disgusting. That is nasty. This podcast has stooped to some <laughs> really low places. And and however, there I don't think there's been much profanity in it yet. Wh- All right. Let's let's analyze this for a second this guy sit around semen he's sitting around he's vaping a little uh-huh. captain crunch in there sure, he's like oh, sure. man this Whatever. is great i little at little apple, know, this, apple I'm, jack i'm no yeah. longer on the cigarettes i'm i'm feeling good and i love this captain crunch it's sweet and it's delicious you know what let's try semen i bet i could jizz in here oh my god did he vape his own semen i don't what's the difference it doesn't make a difference but I just need if, to know. I let need me just to know. Say, let me just say, <laughs> if, if I was going to vape semen, it would have to be my own. Mm-mm. I swear I'm not going to stop somebody on the street. Excuse me. Uh, I'm out of vaping fluid. Can you just. Do you think. Can you just jerk, jerk off real quick for me? I, I appreciate you. Um, I got a little picture of Scarlett Johansson right here. Here's the thing, I'll show though, it to is you. some men Dream don't even bit. like the idea of their own fluids being on their skin. No. Some men don't appreciate that. No, I don't, I don't want it. So so would you suck it up into your lungs? All right, let's get on. We're going to the All next right, one. All right, move on. <laughs> I think this is the last one, thank God. Uh, Florida man bored calls 9-11 to talk to Hitler. You know, that's where Hitler lives. Nine one one. No, no, no. Satan told us that Hitler does his dishes. Yeah. Well, you can reach him at nine one one. All right. That. Oh man, the uh, vaping semen got me. I I've got to stop there. That's enough for me. I'm done. I've got a. I've got two for you. Two. Yeah. Do they involve semen? You did like sixty. <laughs> I did two. All right. So Florida man. Yes. Cut his wife's throat. Ooh, this is gr- gross. And played her favorite music as she died. Um, you know what it was, don't you? Bulls on parade. Probably. <laughs> probably. Actually, it wasn't. Um, waka, stop, waka, it. stop it! Stop it! 
Stop it. You're you're affecting my anxiety. Mm. He killed his wife. This was just this past Tuesday. That's crazy. Well, and, and yes, he, it's crazy. He, <laughs> yeah. Duh. Like vaping scene. He in tried scene. to clean up the scene. He was only 21 years old. 20 freaking one. How old was she? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I don't want to know either. Uh, it started, they got a, 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 a call from his boss who told him that his son was saying that he just stabbed and killed his wife. And uh, da, 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 I can't see past my microphone. I'm oh. sorry. But there, so, so police said they went to Yang's apartment. Sorry, Yang. Yang. That's who did it. His apartment where they found his wife lying in a pool of blood in the bathtub. Officers saw a deep cut on her neck. She was pronounced dead at the scene. And she was listening to Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> in the main hallway of the apartment, uh -oh. they said there were two pink rubber gloves oh, no. and a bottle of pink cleaning solution. Okay. Okay. Killed by Frankenfurter. I guess. <laughs> what was that cereal? Or the hmm? Was it Frankenfurter? Was that the cereal? No, I was talking about Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, Remember my he puts God. the gloves yes, on? Yes, yes, yes. Stop. Snaps them. <laughs> Anyways, she tried to crawl away after he cut oh, his man. neck. Oh, man, this is too much information. Cut her neck. Too much. He put her in the bathtub nope. and, and played her music okay. and held her hand oh, man. for 10 minutes. All right, that's not Florida man. That's crazy man. That's w He had 15 minutes to call mm. cops yep. to get her help. He didn't do it. He allegedly told them when they asked why he didn't stop, it says it's not how he was raised. Yeah. Okay. He's the type of person that goes all the way. That's what he said. Too far. Way too far. It's like, what the heck, man? All right. Let me find my other story because that one's sad and, and, and not funny. Come on. My computer's not cooperating with me. Sorry. Um, here we go. So what else is going on with you while I find this? Uh, nothing. I'm in the middle of a show right now. Are you really? Yes, just waiting on you. What's the show about? Right now, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right here. Hold up. Don't even, don't even make fun of me. All right. Next story. Florida man allegedly fondled himself while watching women at a cemetery. What were the women at the cemetery doing? Paying respects. Oh, just like, okay. Authorities in Florida have arrested a man they say fondled himself while watching women in two different locations. Once at a cemetery mm -hmm. and once at a post office. Mm -hmm. They were sending out death notices. I guess. I, guess. I don't know. Uh, this guy, he's only 28 years old. He's got a grave problem. Apparently, he's accused of touching himself sexually in public um, in Florida, okay. obviously. Yeah. Uh, they say the first uh, alleged incident happened at the cemetery. Um, they were just trying, the victim, hold on, scroll. The victim advised that while she visited the gravesite of a friend, she observed a male nearby who was only partially dressed. The sheriff's department said in a press release, the victim observed the male to have his pants down to his ankles and to be fondling himself. Okay. <laughs> you done? Well, that's enough. I think we get the idea. <laughs> How fucked up is that? That's uh, pretty bad. Let's say you're at the cemetery and you're talking to your wife's headstone. No, I wouldn't do that. Pe I mean, some people do. I know, but I wouldn't do it. Okay, no. let's, just, many, say, so let's no. just say someone yes. is doing that. Mm -hmm. And and you look over your shoulder, just right. glance, mm -hmm. and then there's somebody there jerking off. So here's the thing. If I'm going to do that, I'm dressing like the Grim Reaper. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least it makes sense. Because that's what the Grim Reaper would do. You no. know, they're dead. No, he wouldn't. It's like getting off on it. The Grim yeah. Reaper is actually Grim your... Reaper's like, I got a boner. No, <laughs> he's 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 your uh, he's your escort to the next world. Yeah, that's my point. He's he not going to escort you with his dick. He might. 
I mean, you don't know the Grim Reaper though, like I know the Grim Reaper. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a problem. You, so uh, we're talking about uh, Florida Man, and uh, we've had a little fun here. We've told some f- a few little Florida Man stories. Now, now we need to backtrack a little bit. We need to apologize a little bit. Uh, not really apologize, but what I started, I read a couple of articles about uh, Florida Man. There is a um, well. First of all, let's talk about why there's so many Florida Men stories Please. out there. Yes. So Florida, if you don't know this. Florida has a uh, sunshine law, um, and it is um, allows their information to be more publicly available than most states. At least it's not a sunset town. Uh, I don't even know what that means. I oh, think. I'll tell you later. Okay. Um, so it, the the information, the stories, the police uh, information, everything is open and available to anybody who wants it. So. Uh, whereas a lot of states actually protect uh, the uh, information, whether it's police stories, or whatever, Florida does not. So it's much more open. So uh, the stories that get put out into um, the public, whether it's media, uh, press releases, whatever, are just tons of it comes out of Florida because they don't have a system that protects that kind of information. It's right. open for everybody. Right. So you could actually go to Florida and just say, I need the information about blah, 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 whatever happened here, here, here. Honestly, and they will you give can it to do you. that anywhere. No, because some places will not. They say it's protected. They'll, be, they'll say, this is a part of the case. Because it's part of the case, we're not allowed to give it to you. Until the case is solved. Yeah, but Florida does not have that. Oh, you can okay. have anything at all times. Oh, okay. And so because of that, it's, it's a, kind of an illusion. It makes Florida look like... A lot of crazy things happen there when actually crazy things are happening everywhere. It's just more information's coming out of Florida. So it, it makes it look like it's a little uh, weighted to the Florida side when it's really not. It's just a matter you. of information. Yeah, yeah I get that. Uh, but there's also, uh, there's this kind of a backlash that's happening against Florida Man. Because a lot of people say, number one, so and we know that because we just saw a lot of examples that a lot of uh, of the uh, situations that happen with Florida man are because of mental illness. Yes, and people tend to be like making fun of it or laughing at people who need some help rather than giving them the resources they need. And it's easy to do. It's yeah. I mean, all of that stuff. Every single thing that we read is ridiculous. But when even though it's ridiculous, if you look at it, you, some of the people are on drugs. They need help. They have mental problems. They need help. Whatever. A lot of the people are just, some of the people are just weird. But most of them need help. Yeah. So we find ourselves laughing at people who probably really, rather than need to be the butt of a joke, need need some therapy, need some help. They're, they're, in, they're really having some problems. I've been in some situations where I needed some help. Yeah. And um, if somebody were to make fun of me or put it into the news Mm -hmm. or say, you know, woman tries to kill herself in a tank top and panties, Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, that's not funny. No, it's not funny. And the other thing that a lot of people are concerned about is there's kind of a class uh, thing that happens where where it's easy to look at these people because most of the time they're poor. Mm-hmm. A lot of times they're doing what they're doing. They're addicted on to drugs, um, but a lot of times they they have no money. They're stealing something because they're hungry, mm-hmm. uh, or they don't have a place to live, so they're hiding out in a, sure. somebody's house, whatever. And it adds to part of the story. But a lot of times the people who it happens to are what we might refer to as rednecks or white trash or trailer park people whatever all you know all the stuff the the the, yeah yeah and it's almost every time and i mean you could go through and look at everything that we just talked about and a lot of times rarely is it a doctor that's a real doctor doing it you know somebody that lives in um uh upscale estate sure most of the time it's people who don't have a lot of money so it's easy they're you know they don't have a lot of money or they're crazy it's easy to make fun of them we sort of did that and we apologize but a lot of times we don't know sometimes it's just fun sometimes people are just weird and it's okay sometimes you just have to find humor in agony yeah you have to find humor in the tragedy that is life i am fascinated just by uh what's acceptable to people in their lives sometimes and sometimes it's just that somebody will get into a car 
and go to the store for something at the drive through and not wear a stitch of clothes. And they think that that's completely acceptable. Do you know the kind of stories I'm looking at these days on the news almost every day? Is people that go to the drive through mm-hmm. they order their food, they ask for an extra sauce. The person behind the counter says that'll be a dollar seventy five, and then they rage at it, and somebody gets shot. Yeah, they're crazy and mm-hmm. killed. Yeah, either the person wanting the sauce mm-hmm. or the person wanting the money for the sauce. You got to stop reading those stories. It's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. Well, anyway, that's our Florida Man show. Um, you all probably have stories of your own. Maybe you have actual encounters. Oh gosh, of Florida yeah. Man. I have spent some time in, uh, let's say, uh, North Carolina. Yeah. And I have spent some time in Texas and, I mean, everywhere ever, in between. Have you ever been to West Virginia? Yeah. Uh, I've been through it. I haven't really spent a lot of time in it. Okay. But everywhere in between. And I've seen some wacky, crazy people. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are people from my hometown <laughs> that I've mm-hmm. seen. That would probably fit into this as well. But... <laughs> You know, you got to laugh at humanity. But it's there funny. are people in my hometown, Oakland, California. I mean, come on. Yeah. There's people in Alaska. And mm-hmm. trust me, there are people in Alaska oh, yeah. that are out there. Mm-hmm. It could be Alaska, man. But they're so far away mm-hmm. that we don't, it, it doesn't register. All right. That's it. That's all I got to say. So what do you think of the beer? Let's talk about that. Are we closing down? Are we shutting down? Are we saying yeah, goodbye? let's do that. Uh, all right. I have a little concern. What? Uh, I I don't know if it's if we're getting better beer or if it's my taste, but I'm starting to be able to tolerate IPAs and double IPAs a little more. I almost fell out of my chair. Yeah. Um, I will say this is not a beer I would choose to drink. I don't like it. Um, but I don't know. Before I couldn't even hardly swallow it, and now it's it's all right. It's okay. Actually, to be honest with you, this one isn't bad. No, there's something about it. It doesn't have that really, it, it's bitter, but it doesn't have that really hard, bitter aftertaste that some do- double IPAs have. So I can tolerate it. Which is it. weird. And the, uh, yeah. And the, fl- and the uh, flavor of it, it's okay. It's still the the um, um, uh, pineapple-y taste that the I can't grapefruit stand. Thing. Grapefruit. Yeah. Pineapple, whatever. Yeah. Citrus, I that's not my favorite, but it's I've had worse. So, so it doesn't say what hops they use, but I bet that has something to do with it. Maybe uh, we'll have to reach out to Cigar City Brewing, yeah, which is where this Florida man double I did we, did we comes say, from? Oh, Tampa, yeah. Um, well, at least Tampa is in Florida. They it's named in their Florida. they named their beer after well, in duh. honor of yeah Florida man. They know yeah. So. And it's a cute can. Dang it. I got to say, as far as double IPAs go, I can accept it. It's one of, it's it's a good one. I'm giving it a 2.0. I'll give it a 2.5. Two and a half. Yeah. I give it a two. Um, believe it or not, we found, I mean. That's crazy. That's it. That is, that's crazier than vaping semen right there. Okay, no. I no, actually. No. Don't ever vape. Tolerated a the little semen. bit of double IPA. Right oh, there. So. I thought you were going to say you tolerated some vape semen. No, I'll never do that. Please don't. I would. I mean, money. No. By not the even way, for money, those of you listening, please don't ever vape semen. N- I mean, it's I not think, good for your lungs. We're not going to tell you what to do. But if it's if that's your thing, yeah, go for it. You don't want to die of cum lung. I oh know. My God. <laughs> I know a lot of minors and. Um, and uh, other people from the CD underground, and I mean CD, um, who if have died. At first, you don't succeed. They have died, suck, suck again. Die, they've died from cum lung. It's something oh, that um, is horrible. Stop. It's a horrible, horrible disease. And uh, we're raising money. We have a telethon coming up. I'm about to fall out of my chair. And uh, you can donate if you would like. All right. So this epic disaster. New show comes out every Monday. You know, we we would love for you to see, tell us what you think of the show. We're uh, uh, you can contact us this epic disaster at gmail.com. You can send us email and just tell us. Oh, I, we don't care. You can tell us your favorite Florida man story as far as we care. Uh, but just communicate or just tell with us. us your favorite color. Just say hi. Just say I listen just to the show. Hey. 
Um, if you don't do that, you can follow us on Facebook. Uh, we do have a disaster baiter group. The disaster baiters uh, are, is our Florida group. Uh, I don't think any of them vape it's semen. Not and I a hope Florida. not. Stop it. Uh, it's and then, our group. All you have to do is ask to be added and we'll add you. That's true. We're on Twitter and we are on Instagram. So hunt us down, be our friend, and uh, we'll be your friend for life. Swear, we will. We love you. Maybe. Mostly. Okay. Uh, other than that, boom. We're done. Is that it? We're Bye. done. Bye. <laughs> You're just signing off really quick. All right, we'll see you uh, next Monday on this uh, very show. Did we do our, did we did all the ratings that we needed to do? I think so. All right, then we're gone. Okay, bye. Bye. This is a Violet Jester Media Podcast.